Hey guys, welcome back. Now, is it Spanish or Castilian? Español or Castellano? Are these things the same or are they different? Well, to answer these questions, I would have to say yes and yes. Okay guys, welcome back and if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so now. On my channel, you'll learn everything about Spain. Everything. Alright, so I want to bring up something that I've noticed when I came to Spain that I really didn't think about when I was living in the United States. Now I'm going to be using a lot of words interchangeably, so for example, Spanish means Español if you are speaking Spanish and Castilian means Castellano if you are speaking Spanish okay so in the United States when we think about Spanish you know we say Spanish but then if someone says that they speak Castilian Spanish we automatically know that they're talking about Spanish from Spain or European Spanish but when I arrived to Spain, it was a little bit different. When I started to learn Spanish and I was living in Madrid and Barcelona, a lot of people would tell me, you're not speaking Spanish, you're speaking Castilian, or they would say Castellano. And I would think, but it's the same language. Like, I don't understand this, right? And this happened many times, but I've noticed that this happened more with the older generations. The younger generations would say Spanish. So it got me thinking, what's the difference? Why is there a generational difference with, you know, these two terms? So I had to do a little research on the history and things like that. I'm not going to go too in depth with the history. That's a topic for another video, but if you come to Spain, you will notice that some people will say, will not get angry, but will be annoyed if you say Spanish instead of Castilian. So the reason why this is, is because Spain and most people outside of Spain don't know this, but Spain actually has a lot of languages, not just Spanish. These languages are native to Spain. And I would say, let me think about this because I'm trying to remember. There are five official languages in Spain. You've got Castilian, you've got Galician, you've got Basque, um, um, what was the other one? Catalan and um, Aranese. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I usually say it in Spanish. I've never pronounced that word in English. But there are other languages too, a lot. But these are the five main languages and Castilian being the dominant language which is what we know of as Spanish but when you say Spanish you're also talking about these other languages these other languages are separate languages they are not dialects they are completely separate languages for example um, Basque Basque is not even a Latin based language no one really knows the, um, the exact origins of this language because there is no other language in the world that shares similarities to this language and it's spoken in the north of Spain in a place called Basque Country so you know if you go there don't be surprised if someone says Caixo instead of Hola <laughs> because it's completely different same thing with um, Galician if you go to Galicia which is also in the north the northwest they speak Galician, which has more in common with Portuguese than it does Spanish. Um, actually, they say it used to be the same language and through evolution, it broke off into two separate languages. But there are a lot of similarities between these two. And for that reason, someone that speaks Gallego can learn Spanish a lot faster. Uh, I'm sorry, can learn Portuguese a lot faster. Now, because of this, you have places in Spain where they, their first language is not Spanish. Um, and a lot of Spanish people are bilingual because they speak Spanish, but they also speak the language of their, their area. 
And if you're a foreigner, like, you know, like me, when I first arrived, I had no idea. When I was in Barcelona, I said, why are all the signs in this strange language? And my friend said, well, because you're in Catalonia and people here speak Catalan. And, you know, that's why everything is in Catalan. And I said, wow, it was very, very intriguing for me. But the reason why you, we have all these languages here is because many years ago, there were multiple kingdoms in Spain, many kings and queens. And the kingdom of Castile, Castilian, their language was what we know of as Spanish. But the other kingdoms had their own separate languages. Now, the kingdom of Castile became the dominant kingdom of Spain years later. So everyone spoke their language in addition to their own languages. So when you say Spanish language or when you say Spanish, the reason why the older generations don't like this is because Galician, Catalan, um, Basque, these are also Spanish languages. But again, they are separate. They're not dialects. So the younger generation, again, doesn't care. So this is the reason why when you come here, be prepared. Some people may correct you. Now to add more to the complexity, when you are in Spain, okay, um, and you say you speak Castellano, remember that Castilian is only one dialect. Spanish that we know of has multiple dialects in the same country. It's just like Latin America. I mean, if you went to Mexico, you would find different dialects of, of Mexican Spanish. You would find different dialects in Peru, you know, things like that. Spain is no exception. So me and my partner, we were talking about this last year because he told me that I was speaking Castellano, but he's from Andalusia and they, they speak with the um, Andalusian dialect. Same in the Canary Islands, they speak with the Canary dialect, which shares more similarities with Latin America than it does Spain. So there are many people, foreigners, that come to Spain and they say, well, I'm here because I want to learn, you know, Castilian. But they don't realize that there are so many different dialects that if you came, for example, to the Canary Islands, you're going to think, why is everyone speaking like Latin Americans? Now, when you watch a Spanish movie or you see Spanish subtitles, most likely it would be in what we would call Castilian or Castellano. So the differences are, for example, if you go to um, the central north area, um, especially um, the area called Castilla Leon, they speak Castilian. They speak the Spanish that you would think of when you think of Spain. But again, Spanish is very diverse. So, for example, they would use vosotros instead of ustedes, or they would say, um, if you're talking about a potato, they would say patatas. They wouldn't say papas. So, patatas is something you find in Castilian Spanish. But if you go to Andalusia, they would say papas. Well, sometimes they will say patatas, but mostly they say papas. My partner says papas. I say patatas. But if you come to the Canary Islands, it's papas. And they don't use vosotros. So a lot of times um, there's a little discrimination towards other dialects of Spanish in Spain. Um, for example, some people in the north will say, oh, the Canary Islands, they don't speak um, Castellano. They, they don't speak Castellano. Um, but my partner, he was just saying that if you come here, you know, and you travel around different areas, you will find that in the north, um, they would be considered, their, their form of speaking would be considered Castellano. But in other parts where there are different dialects, it would just be Spanish. So as you can see, it's a big mess. <laughs> it is a big mess. So I would say that you can use both interchangeably. You can say, if you say Spanish, they know that you're talking about Castilian. They know exactly what you mean. Because when we're referring to other Spanish languages, we usually just say the language. We'll say, um, oh, she speaks Catalan or he speaks Galician or something like this. Um, but again, if you come to Spain, be prepared to find multiple languages, all right? I was very surprised. I mean, even in, um, in the Canary Islands, in the island called La Gomera, 
they speak a language called syllable and this language does not use words they whistle and yes they can whistle and have full conversations with each other it's really cool i met a woman that spoke this language and it was just amazing but again something for you to know so if you come to spain with the hopes of learning the castilian dialect it's better if you go to the north the northern areas um, you'll find or the northern or the central areas too you'll find this dialect so i'm telling you this because i don't want you to be like oh i really want to learn castilian spanish instead of you know latin american spanish and then you move to andalusia and then you realize that they don't speak the spanish that you were looking for all right now that being said all of the dialects are amazing all the dialects are beautiful all the languages are beautiful i i love hearing the different spanish languages but um, this is just to clear up some confusion, all right? So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, a good weekend. If I post this on the weekend, today is Friday. I don't know if I'm gonna post it this weekend, I'll try. But whatever day it is, have a good one. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Hasta luego, ciao.